bikini-worthy abs, sculpted arms, and toned thighs? Well, you can toss that cover up aside in no time with my five-week bikini boot camp series. Each week has a specific focus that builds upon the previous week. This is the second week of the program, so if you're just joining in now, please refer back to week one to get the full program details. Week two's workout focuses on core and cardio movements. You will have three of these workouts during the week, and you will alternate them with your upper body and core workout from week one. Every workout is performed in circuit format. For your first core and cardio workout, you will perform the first eight exercises 10 to 15 reps, two to three times through. On the second day, you will perform the next eight exercises, again, 10 to 15 reps, two to three times through. And on your third core and cardio day, you will perform the entire list of 16 exercises twice through. So let's go ahead and learn the core and cardio exercises for week two's workout. This workout utilizes a set of hand weights as well as the small ball. The first exercise is standing side bends. Take your legs more than shoulder distance apart, bend the knees, and keep your core in tight. Place your hands behind your head and press your head into your hands while you bend your torso from side to side. Keep your lower body still. To intensify this, you can add your hand weights, placing them overhead and pressing the weights together, and do the same movement. Next, come down to the glide board for crunches. Place the ball into the small of your back, Activate your core by pressing your lower back into the ball. Bring your arms out long and you'll make small ranges of motion to crunch up. To make this more intense, hold onto your glide board, shift your weight back so that you lift your hips off of the floor and perform the crunch. Keeping that same position, you'll pick up your hand weights for crunch and punch. You'll come up and punch diagonally across the body so that you're activating your obliques. Be sure to press the back of your spine into the ball to keep the compression while you do the crunch. To make this more intense, pick your body up again, coming off of the ground, and perform the same movement. These are very small to keep the activity into your core and to keep the movement intense. Next, you'll come into incline mountain climber combo. Come down to a plank position with your core in tight and your spine is long. Shoulders are on top of wrists. You'll do two to the center, and then two diagonally. Once you get this, pick up your pace. Two middle, two side. To make this more intense, you're gonna open up your glide board and keep it open while you do the same movement. Next, you'll face away from the tower for pike ups. Place your hands at the very bottom base, extend your legs long into a plank position with your shoulders on top of your wrist and your core is engaged. Lift your hips up high and then return back to your plank position. Your upper body really doesn't move, it's just your hips hinging all the way up. To make this more intense, you can add a single leg. If you are doing single leg, be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Now flip it back around to face your tower for plank reaches. Come into a plank position with your shoulders on top of your wrist, your core is engaged, and your spine is long. Begin to shift through your ankles to reach to the edge of your glide board. Tap with your hand as far forward as you can. To make this more of a challenge, you can open up your glide board and perform the same exercise. Next, grab your weights for prone back extensions. Lie onto your belly, bringing your arms out to the side. As you lift up into your back extension, you'll raise your arms to activate your upper back. You can change this by turning your thumbs up and rotating them back or you can just keep your pinkies facing upward. Just be sure to activate your upper back as well as your lower back. Next, you'll perform two jump squats followed by two lunge drops. Looks like this. Two jump squats, lunge drop, together, two jump squats, two lunge drops. Have your incline at a low to medium level with your cable connected. Take your one cable and come to a seated or a kneeling position for cable chops. You'll come from a diagonal position and up and over your shoulder. For more intensity, come to a high kneeling position, keeping your core engaged and your spine long. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Take both cables into your hand and face away from your tower for cable lowers. Have a supine position onto your glide board. 
Lift the legs and extend the arms out from your chest. Keeping contact with your lower spine into the glide board at all times, you lower your legs and then lift them up towards your hands without moving your glide board. To make this more advanced, you lift up through the hips when the legs lift up towards the tables. Next, you'll flip it around to a prone position for back extension sleeves. Anchor down, lie down on your glide board and extend the arms. As you come into a back extension, sweep the arms down by your side and lift your torso up. Be sure to keep your spine elongated and breathe through the exercise. Have your incline at a medium level with the ab crunch accessory attached. Come down to a kneeling position with your hips on top of your knees for knee tuck front. Performing small, short ranges of motion, keep your core engaged and draw your knees in towards your arms. Next, you'll turn your knees to the side for knee tuck side. Perform the same action, bringing your knees up to your arms without moving anything but the lower body. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. The last three exercises are cardio to really blast and burn the calories. The first is running up, up, down, down. Face your tower on an incline, lead with one leg, running up and then down. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Next, you'll do two jacks and then defense from side to side. Looks like this. Two jacks, defense, defense. Jack, defense, defense. The last cardio exercise are step up hops. Face in towards your tower and place the inside leg onto your glide board. As you lift the outside leg up, you'll add a hop, swinging your arms using your core for power. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. After your workout, perform light cardio and stretching exercises to recover your muscles. Those were the core and cardio movements for week two's Bikini Boot Camp series. I look forward to seeing you for next week's new challenges.